is Dr. Gogarty. I'm the director of Central Academy. And at student orientation last night, I noticed that some of our middle school students and families were confused about how to read their schedule. So I want to kind of explain a little bit about that to you. Normally, uh, middle school students see all their classes in a day. But high school students run on the A, B schedule. So on Monday, they will be in A day, for example. They would have four classes. And then on B day, they have a different four classes. And then it alternates back and forth. Our eighth graders have both the middle school schedule at their home school and they have the high school AB schedule here. So when you look at their schedule for Central Academy, it can be a little confusing. You'll have a whole long list of um, periods and what will happen is a student might have English listed for block three and maybe they will have Algebra one listed for block four, then it's blank and blank for block five and six, and then for seven, maybe they'll have current issues. And then for eight, directed study. If they have current issues, they'll also have a nine which says government down here. So when they look at this, they think, oh, do they spend part of their morning with us and then go back to their home school? They're, or maybe this is lunch, and then but that's not really how it works at all. So period one is first thing in the morning, and period two is the class that follows it. That makes sense. But period three and four are afternoon classes here at Central Academy. So after they have their morning at their, at their home school, then they will put on the bus they come down to Central Academy, have lunch, and these are the two afternoon classes. So they would have English and Algebra, and then they would go home. The next day, maybe this is a Tuesday, this would be the B day, they do their morning at their home school, then they come down on the bus, they have lunch, and then they have their afternoon in current issues and directed study here and then they would go home after directed study. So that's the A, B schedule. So sometimes you'll see our bell times written like this where they say block one and five will be at this at a certain time, block two and six will be at a different time, three and seven, and the reason why those times are the same is because they are at the same time of day, okay? The other thing that was confusing for some is they're taking current issues and they have this block nine. And they said, do they have five classes? Does this, how does that all fit together? So how it works is this. The government class is a senior level, as in 12th grade class. It's a one semester course. We're having students take that course in eighth grade, four years before they typically take it. The content is a lot for eighth graders. So what we do is we incorporate that content in first semester so that when they get, start the course, officially start the course in January, they already have some of the background knowledge they need. But we need a place to record um, what students have learned so far and keep track of their progress in those learning targets. So block nine is a placeholder. All it is is a place for us and for our teachers to put how the student is progressing on those content during first semester. In second semester, that information will be transferred back into where the current issues is because they'll be done with that class. And so that will become their government class. And their earlier work will be able to transfer over. So this is just a placeholder for our uh, teachers to keep record of how their students are progressing on these ideas. Thank you.